What's up YouTube? What's going on? We are looking at a new knife today. This is a a Pruvish Blades and this is a collaboration with We Knives. Adam Pruvish, I believe that's how you say or that's his name. Part-time fire or actually I believe a full-time firefighter, part-time knife designer. And this is your typical Wii packaging. I mean, it's just the nice padded case it comes in. So this is the Primordial. And this is one I've been excited about for a while. I pre-ordered it some time ago. And it came in while I was out of town, actually, which sucks. That's the worst when you get a mail call and you're out in town to get it. So I wanted to give you a first impressions video of the Primordial. This is a pretty cool knife. I definitely dig it. It's right in my wheelhouse of EDC knives. It's a good size, good materials, affordable price. What's not to love, right? So before we get into it, let's do some size comparisons with some commonly known knives. Got the Benchmade 940, a little bit smaller. The Chris Reeve Small Sabenza, a little bit bigger, not a lot, but a little bigger than the Small Seb. The ZT... God, I got some gunk on there. Um, I got some of that, like, Loctite stuff in there on accident. Oh my gosh, I cannot get it out of there. Anyway, uh, that's the new um, Sinkovich Design 470, and it's a little bit bigger than that. Uh, barely. So, it's a smaller knife, for sure. Uh, one more, the Hinderer XM18, just to give you a size. So, it is a smaller knife. It has a... Um, frame lock design on this one, carbon fiber with a bolster, kind of a, a nice titanium, uh, nice machine done by Wii on this one. Some really nice lightning holes here um, in the titanium and carbon fiber inlay here. And you have the lock bar relief cutout is in the inside, which a lot of people love. It's kind of a bolster lock slash frame lock. It's typically bolster locks a little higher up. It comes way down here. Um, but got a titanium pocket clip as well and it is on bearings very very smooth m390 blade steel so again um one i was very excited for price point on this guy is 240 dollars that's what i paid on pre-order i think it's gonna be a little bit more from dealers um let me actually check real quick i think blade hq is getting them in any day I got the stonewash finish on the blade here. You can also get it in beat blast. Wow, that didn't pull up anything. That's strange. That is crazy. I'm not pulling anything up. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Um, so it is a lightweight knife. It weighs... Not exactly sure. I don't have any specs in front of me. I'm kind of doing this by the seat of my pants. Um, and you can always look up the specs online anyway, right? Am I right? Three ounces on the dot. The scale is not the most accurate. Let's weigh the... Yeah, that's right. It's about the same weight as a small Sabenza. You do have, obviously, M390 blade still is a little more desirable. Uh, depending on what you're trying to do. You know, if edge retention is your thing then corrosion resistance, then you definitely like M390. Um, the, uh, I like the ease, of, the ease of sharpening of S35, though. That is my... Um, and I am having a hard time. There we go. Jeez. Purvis, not Pruvis. I've been saying that wrong. I apologize. Purvis Blades, um, LLC, Career Firefighter, Part-Time Knife Maker. So these pre-orders were up on, I believe these are, let's see if they're available on his website. I'll check real quick right now. Um, I'll link in the description where you can get these. So what he's kind of known for is doing these Timascus clips for uh, paramilitary twos, for a bunch of different types of knives. He doesn't search Sabenzas. So these are actually 280. Wow, I got a good deal. So these were, I think, 240. 40 ish 245 on pre-order uh, they're now coming in at 285 they are sold out on his website again this is a collaboration with we knives um, and this has a three and a quarter inch blade of m39 blade still like i said carbon fiber titanium ill overlays you have a modified bowie blade um, it's a slight recurve 
um, on the blade, which I'm not typically a huge fan of recurves, but it's pretty slight in this, so I can deal with that. The overall length is 7.25, and I guess it weighs 3 ounces. Um, so you had the options of black PVD, stone wash blade, um, stone wash blade, handle clip, and backspacer, or bead blasted blade with stone wash handle clip and backspacer. I don't love bead blasted um, blades, so I went with the um, stone wash. So it's a beautiful knife. I uh, love the design. It's got a really nice opening hole here, and it works um, on both ways, left to right hand. Now the knife is not ambidextrous for carry. It's only a right hand carry. Um, but it's easy to spidey flick with your finger. Um, you can obviously slow roll with your thumb, and you can actually it doesn't work. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, you kind of get got to get your fingernail in there and then give it a. Um, yeah, so I would say a slow roll on it, or I think it was actually much, pretty much designed for the middle finger flick is kind of where it excels most for opening the knife. So it's got great action. Um, I like the size overall and the ergonomics of the handle are fantastic. It's very lightweight like I said in the hand and it just feels really nice. There's no jimping up here on the thumb ramp which is fine by me. Uh, thickness in your handle I think is less than a half an inch and I really need to get a battery in this thing. It's like dead. Yeah 0.474 inches. Um, let's look at the thinness behind the edge just to see how well we will cut 0 .0, 0 0.0295, so not the thinnest, but not thick at all. Yeah, 0 0.0285 up there towards the tip. Um, so nicely, pretty thinly ground, um, not terribly, th not way thin, but not thick either. Uh, your blade stock is pretty thick, actually. I want to say it's... Yeah, it's over one inch, uh, 0.15 inches thick on the blade stock. Um, what I love about this knife is the handle. It is so flipping comfortable in the hand. It's crazy. And it has that grind, that, not grind, um, has that uh, guard there for your fingers so you're not going to slip up on it. Um, just feels soup, super good in the hand. Very, very comfortable. Um, came pretty sharp out of the box. because I haven't had a ton of time using this knife, so I'm not calling this a review. Came nice and sharp. Just got it a few days ago, but uh, first impressions are fantastic. It's been my what I've been carrying for the last few days. You can um, the lock has got a little bit of stick to it, which is interesting because it does have a lock bar insert. I think that's just because I just need to clean it off. But I mean, it doesn't. It, you notice it's not. Yeah, you can kind of notice it there. Uh, the detent is very dialed in for uh, the action of the knife, the bearings. And the fit and finish overall is fantastic. It's typical Wii fashion where you're going to have excellent fit and finish on the knives. I love this. I really like the way a lot of these guys are doing this. Now, he is actually going to be selling them through Blade HQ, like I mentioned. But um, I kinda, it's kind of like Will, like Boo's Blades, how he basically has we you know, designs knives, has we manufacture them, sells them on his website, reasonable price. I mean, for what you're getting here, too, you're getting carbon fiber, titanium, M390 blade steel um, bearings. You're getting super smooth action, and it's 240. I mean, it'll be 285, I guess, is what they're going to sell for at Blade HQ. So it is a good price. I mean, it's under 300 bucks for all those things. Um, I think it's it's pretty fair, you know. Um, I will say, like looking at the USA made um, 470. You know, as a comparable, com very similar size knife, similar materials, uh, both have carbon fiber, both have titanium, both have a very similar blade steel. You are spending less on the on the ZT, but this feels uh, more quality and premium to me, the, the Wii Knives does in, the, in this situation. I like this ZT a lot. Um, it's nice and smooth and everything, but I feel like the, the uh, Primordial is just a little bit higher end. Um, not quite like this high end, you know, as, as a Semenza, but very nicely made, very well done. He is also going to be offering Timascus clips for the Primordial as well. So overall, I think um, very nice design by by uh, Mr. Uh, Purvis, and you know, I think for his first knife, I think it's fantastic. Um, Great design, love the size, great EDC size knife, plenty of blade to do whatever you need to. 
nice strong tip there you can, as you can see I love the modified Bowie look it's just really attractive the clip uh, let's see what it carries like in the pocket it's not overly deep or anything but it's not um, not bad at all I mean you barely have any I actually kind of think that's perfect it's not too deep you got a little bit on a little bit of knife there to make purchase on but you can get it out of your pocket pretty quick so like the thinness of the knife the nice open um, design you have your titanium backspacer that's just really small here and that's basically almost there just to kind of prevent your knife your finger from getting caught you know it's not gonna any kind of liner attachment I do love that um, with the uh, cutouts in in the uh, handle here you can see the blade I, I really like that um, and you're not you can't get your finger down in there either so there's no danger there of you know cutting yourself there uh, st standard Torx pivot and screws on this as well so overall I'm impressed first impressions are really good I like it quite a bit and this instantly moved into my EDC um, which says a lot will it stay there we, I don't know uh, most likely I, I love I, there's nothing I really don't like about the knife so I don't see why it wouldn't um, like these three here are staples in my ADC I've got two cements in me in my rotation two hinderers actually and 940 and you know this one is definitely in line where, where I could see this being gain a um, wow spot in my EDC. I don't know why that was such a hard word to come up with. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, look out for more videos coming soon. I've got another knife to review. I've got my knife pivot lube um, review finished, and after using it for a couple weeks on a, multiple different knives, wanted to get that, so hopefully I'll have that up soon. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.